Easter at Steve's. Run, run. Okay. So, oops. I start at Steve's because there's more races in that area. So, I thought I could start there. Now, Will's Mill. This race is very tricky because there's so much twists and turns, so I'm going to be messing up in this race. I took the shortcut and I bounced off that log. Now the bunny race. You need to catch 12 bunnies to finish this race there will still be bunnies hopping around when you get your 12. They all have some checkpoints on top of them. I got 12, as you can see. Now we are at Marley's, and I'm doing this easy jumping course. It's very easy and pretty quick but sometimes I still do mess up on it, as you can tell. Okay, now we are doing this bear racing. Ooh, that's also very quick. Now we are at the Baroness's track. This one is very, very, very quick. You just have to go around and jump the little, like, all the stuff. Okay, now we are at one of the cross country races. These cross country races are pretty easy and simple, but they're very long. shortcut but whenever I do shortcuts I at least have to mess up on them so they're not really a shortcut anymore there's another cost country race I believe this one is the non-reverse but then the other one after this race is going to be the reverse whenever you go on that bridge you have to jump or else you're going to get caught on the front of the bridge, on either side. Now next, Morris got to level four, I believe. Okay, jump, jump, over and over. Whenever I do a race reversed, I can't to the shortcuts because I got scared I'm gonna mess them up because they're in reverse. Okay, now we are at Yelena's. Beautiful, beautiful racetrack. It really is a nice racing track. It has beautiful music added to it when you do it but I cut out all of the audio. Here we are at the riding arena. I love these because it gets me the chance to do things other than dressage, and they are pretty quick, but you can still easily mess up on them. And there is my friend, Annalisa. She just went in the video, but she probably didn't understand, know that I'm doing this. Jump, jump, jump. See, I just messed up there. Can I jump? Over, oop. Just up there. They're super easy, these races. After this, we are going to 
Jasper's Pumpkin Farm and doing the two races there. This time I did not mess up on those two jumps very close to each other. Wow. This race I think I actually did it pretty good for my other like days I do it. Except for that part. Now here it is the reverse. The reverse is actually harder than the normal one, but you should still do it. I'm gonna stop there. Now we are at, I think her name is Emma's racing track. It's actually, to me, more of a cost cross country and I think it is but really every race is a racing track to me also. This race is kind of cool because you're like stuck in the mountains but really you're not in the mountains because you're just on the ground at the mountains. Now we are at Golden Leaf Stables. I like these races even though they take so long to do they're still really cool to do because they do give you a lot of XP when you do them all but one to me doesn't do any good really. because they need to get me more XP this is only um, like number one of Training Peach because she probably will take me three days to train so I'm going to be doing three of these videos for her and then really every horse I have is going to have three because you have to at least have three days of training your horse got some to level 15 right now. I'm working on Peach Pie. I only call her Peach because her real name is like Peach, her first name, but then she has second name, which is Pie. I was gonna do Pumpkin Pie, but I had no pumpkin. I like this race because if I had the audio on, you'd hear, but people are just standing there cheering for you. Here's quick, easy bell racing, some pole bending. This one is kind of hard, and I kind of messed up in all these because it's very slippery for some reason when I do races. Because, see, I'm like out of control for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm just out of control. Let me know in the comments down below if that ever happens to you. It happens to me. Here is like a mix of everything because there is jumps and they're using the barrels to do like some sort of bull bending. So I would say that it's very simple bending. Here we are at for Grove doing these cross country ones. To me they are very quick and easy but you still on every race you can mess up even if they're quick and easy. I like the this well, these races because you get to see the ranger station. Well not in them all but in some of them. This one kind of tricks you because it will have a path coming when you are racing. So it looks like you have to go down there, but then really you don't. You have to go the other way. So this one is tricking you a little. This one is reverse. 
Oh, the other one, I think. I'm not very sure because I forget. But I think it is reverse. Or it's a reverse of the first one, but I'm not really sure. Wait, no. It's reverse of the other one. I'm, I'm now probably certain. Here we are at Yellow Lake doing this very, very, very long race. As you can see, on basically every race, there's some of those plants. I'm, I'm collecting them because I still am not done that. And now I have so many plants that I am just getting in every single one of my races that I do. Okay, and here I am at for growth. There are two races I'm going to be doing here because I have the checkpoint one and then this normal race. The checkpoint one are, are pretty long. It's always pretty long. Because there's always one very far away from the others. This one is actually kind of easy. So, I do it a lot. As you could see, I just opened my backpack to see how much plants I have. There's one checkpoint. Now I just need to find two more checkpoints. I open my mouth because sometimes I don't even know where the other ones are. Oop! I forgot to say I got another checkpoint, but I got another checkpoint. Now we are going to go back to, I think her name's Mary, or something, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, so I don't know. We are doing the races at Moorland now, so we talked to Tan for this one, and then the next one we are talking to Loretta. I'm pretty sure the next race is the show jumping one, we are talking to Stacy. I like these races because they are very quick and easy because they're from Moorland. They're usually for beginners, but everyone at least has to do them because they're still a race for everyone to do. But mainly they're there in the beginning, so kind of for beginners. Everyone just wants a beginner so we can all do it. Now, this one actually gives me a feeling that I'm actually doing show jumping because it was very fancy. Now we are at Fort Pinto because there's a race here, of course. I feel like there's a race everywhere in this place. If you're wondering, there's only three races I did not do. It is the two races, well, the four races at Star Shine, the opponent ones, and the one at the circus. Because I was gonna think that this video is going to be too long. So I did not do them. As you can see, I just went out of line because there's another flower there. I feel like there's flowers everywhere. I don't know. I'm not sure. I know there's flowers everywhere because everywhere I go, there's some. Here we are at Paddock Island doing the race from Lizzie. If I'm not saying the races right you can correct me in the comments 
because if I don't say the names right, I don't say the name right. I'm certain that this race is from Uncle Bob. I'm totally sure. Totally. Sounds like when you say totally, it sounds like you're saying toad. I don't know why, but it sounds like that to me. Totally. Well, this race is actually kind of long. Okay, here we are at Yarlheim. Or Yorvik Stables. It's probably at Yorvik Stables because it's very close to Yorvik Stables. But then here we're close to Yarlheim. I'm not sure. Maybe it could be called the Yorvik Stables slash Yarlheim race. No, that's not right. Okay, here we are at Hermit's Cottage. These are the last races that I will be doing. Oh my god. I'm just looking at all those jumps and I'm really not getting them all right. I mean like any. I saw a flower, but I couldn't get it because that race is like, the time limits are very low. I did not do the, that part of the race right. I don't know why, but it kind of gets creepy in this part of the race because the sky gets dark. I don't know if that's just a me thing or it's an everyone thing. Okay. A little thing of my horse for you guys. Here we are at the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.